This video is to get your PC that's on the back of your New Line TV set up for you to use. And again, this is a computer just like your laptop and your desktop that's actually attached straight to this computer. So this is how you set it up. So this is the back side of the TV. Again, here's the screen. On the back here, you'll see these kind of antennas. And then this is the, the in between the two antennas is the onboard computer, the computer that's inside the smart board TV. So this is the ethernet port. And again, we need to plug in the blue ethernet cable that comes from the wall because when you set up your computer for the first time, just like with your teacher laptop, you have to make sure you're connected hardwired to the network so we can get you signed in and the computer does all the necessary updates that it needs to do. So uh, I've plugged in the ethernet cable. I made sure it's plugged in to the wall. So now it's coming from the wall to this cable and I'm going to plug it in. You'll hear a click confirming and then I know it's an active port if these you'll see an orange and a green light flash so the orange means that it's plugged in green means that there is network activity so that is what you're looking for to make sure it's working because there are some ports that are on the wall that don't work and so make sure you plug it in uh, and again you only have to do this one time to set it up so if you do not see both these lights blinking again a solid orange and then a flashing green uh, find a different port in your classroom to make sure that you get this. So if you don't have a flashing lights like this and you tried every port in your classroom, make sure you contact your school secretary to make an IT work order so we can get that done as soon as possible. All right, so now that our network cable is plugged into the onboard computer, you can actually, so when it starts up, you see this Windows PC button. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And it's going to take us straight to that onboard computer. And just like how we normally see a, a nice background, again, uh, usually it's uh, that nice Cabo San Lucas arch. Have you ever been there? That's been a cool place. So I'm gonna tap on the screen, actually gonna lift, and then it gives you the Alvord Unified School District profile here, okay. So, uh, typically it's already been set up by our IT staff, but notice how it says administrator. We actually want to go to other user down here because we want you to log in with your account. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm signing into the Alvor domain, perfect. That's why we have our network cable. And again, our IT staff has already put it on the domain. So I'm gonna click on where it says username and now an on-screen on keyboard pops up. So you just put your first name dot last name. Uh, you don't need to put at alvordschools.org, just your, how you log onto the computer normally. I'm gonna type in my password. All right, now I got my password typed in. I'm gonna go ahead and click enter here. Again, if it does it successfully, you know what you've done. Now, some of you uh, might need a password reset uh, because it's over the summer, you didn't do it before you left uh, over the summer. So you might need to get a password reset from the IT department in order to get logged in. But if your password works, here you go. And again, it's gonna get set up here. Uh, and again, it, once you get it set up this one time, now you'll be able to log in without the Ethernet cable because this actually has Wi-Fi on it as well. So you don't need to have the blue Ethernet cord always plugged in. You can if you want to and if it works for the setup in your classroom, but you also have some great flexibility because it can do Wi-Fi as well. Okay, so we're logged in, looks great. You'll notice that down here on the bottom right, it has the window, uh, the ethernet connected, but we wanna change it to Wi-Fi, okay? So that's the last big thing we're gonna do here. So I'm going to come back to the back of the uh, onboard computer and unplug the ethernet cable. And then you'll notice that down here, the ethernet signal's gone and I just have a globe. So if I tap on the globe, again, I'm gonna choose all my options here. So again, I could choose Alvord staff connect automatically and then it should ask me again continue connecting again this is where we want it to be so that's connect but then it's going to ask me to enter my username and password now because you logged in with the ethernet cable and all that stuff all you had simply click is where it says use my windows user account and then it fills in all the information perfect click on ok and then click on connect 
and now my uh, smart TV is connected to the internet on the onboard computer. And just like I said before, uh, you have all the options just like you would on your laptop so you can connect in the internet. Uh, you have some other applications down here by going on the Windows menu here. So all the same applications that you're used to on your laptop can now also be on here. So I'm gonna tap on the Windows button down here on the bottom. Click on where it says power. And you notice how it says there's an update available. Great, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on update and restart because we always wanna make sure it is updating and having the latest version of Windows, good things to do. So make sure you also take care of that uh, when you log on to the onboard PC for the first time. All right, the uh, Windows computer main screen has popped up. Looks good. I'll go ahead and log in with my password. All right, and we're good to go. So again, this is, a, I just started off the computer for the first time, logged in, I was gonna shut it down, but there were updates to do. So you always wanna make sure to let it update. Even if you're leaving for the day, you can click on update and shut down, and it'll do the same thing. So here, just so, just so you shut it down, so I'm gonna click on the Windows menu, power, update and shut down this time. So again, I had another update to do, great, wonderful. So you'll notice that now that it's shut down, the TV is saying, hey, where did the computer go? It will automatically take you back to the home screen, unless you say stay in source or go to home. You can do it there early. But now I know it's officially shut down and that it's brought me back here. Great, the computer's shut down, working good. All right, so that is how you shut down the onboard PC, which now makes it safe to turn off your new line television for the next day.